Hello, I thought I'd do a, a quick video of the DC3 and how to use the heading bug on the autopilot. If you look at a lot of the entries on the internet, everyone says this is bugged, it's not working properly, it doesn't uh, it doesn't track correctly, but um, I'm going to show you actually that it's, it's working as intended, um, and if you read up on the DC3, it's working exactly as it does uh, in the DC3 as well. So we'll go through that. Um, and I'll just show you how to set a heading uh, and set level flight in the DC3 so you can head to uh, to where you want to go. So what we'll do is we'll take the DC3 off on the runway and we'll just trim it so we've got reasonably level flight. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll set a heading and we'll show that the aircraft um, uh, moving to that heading uh, and then leveling off to uh, to head towards where we want to go. So, OK, so let's get the uh, the plane up in the air. I'm going to give it uh, full throttle. All, all I've done is I'm at uh, Geneva Airport today, so I'm just going to take the plane off. I've done nothing special here. Um, I've just loaded directly onto the runway just to show you how to do this this really briefly. But I fly the DC-3 all the time, and it's a, it's a lovely plane to fly. It's a little bit tricky, especially in, in windy weather, um, and it can be a little bit of a handful. But once you get used to it, it's, uh, it's a lovely plane. So I'm going to take off and to gear up there. And then uh, flaps up as well. And we'll just trim the plane so uh, it's just in a steady climb. And okay. We're in a reasonably good position. We've got um, a reasonably steady climb going. I've trimmed it a little bit. I've um, not set anything up on the autopilot yet, but we're going to do that now. She'll pull to the left because of the um, uh, because of the engines and the uh, and the rotor blades, but we're going to fix that in a minute when we set a heading on our autopilot. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn autopilot on down the bottom here. And you'll notice that you'll dip towards the ground, mainly because we've not set a heading yet. So I'm going to set that. Set an altitude, I should say. So I'm just going to set the gyro so we're going to climb. So we'll make a steady climb, um, and then what we'll do is we'll look at the heading. Now, on the heading uh, marker here, if I turn the gyro pilot on, she's not going to do anything as it stands at the moment. So all that's going to happen is that we're just going to uh, uh, keep continuing going left based on the engines pulling us to the left, but I could turn this heading desired heading knob wherever I want she's just not going to do anything now if I do want to set a heading let's just say we want to go to um, 270 the way that you activate that so we're going to head west is that you've got to give it a desired bank angle to start off with so um, I'm going to give it a desired bank angle here um, of let's just say 10 degrees and what will happen is that the plane will then turn 10 degrees maximum bank angle and then it'll intercept the heading that we want to go and uh, we want to go and head for so we'll notice now that we've got our heading bug and our heading bug will track towards um, west it takes a little while because it's all hydraulics based for this heading bug to head around uh, and we'll follow that heading bug really slowly towards um, uh, 270 now when we hit 270 what will happen is the plane will level off and then it will follow that heading based on the heading bug that uh, that you define. So we're still rotating, banking at a reasonable angle. And then we've got ATC interrupting me, so uh, let me just respond to that. You'll notice that we'll soon level off and we'll follow um, a heading and a course of 270. There you go, you'll notice now that the plane has started to level off. We're climbing at a, a gradual rate, and roughly when we look at the, the gyroscope, you know, each notch in the gyroscope for, for your um, vertical climb is roughly around about uh, 200 feet a minute. So that just gives you an idea of uh, how quickly you can climb. And then you'll notice then that we're climbing and heading in direction 270. So I'm going to avoid these mountains. Uh, I'm going to set a new heading, so let's just turn around. And you'll notice now that the plane will follow the heading that I've done. Now, if you bank too sharply, so I'm going to show you this really quickly, what's going to happen is it's going to 
overshoot that um, heading indicator. And if it overshoots the heading indicator, then you're just going to lose autopilot altogether. So you've just got to be really, really careful that you don't set a too steep a bank angle. But once you've got that right, then you should find that the plane will follow you um, normally. If you do overshoot, then just set you know, that bank angle again and head back towards that, uh, that point. So there you go, that's a really just a simple, a simple way just to utilise the heading bug on the autopilot for the DC-3 and hope you have fun.